you can go with the strategy pattern. For example, we can strategy pattern. Always, just always use the strategy pattern. Okay, just, just everything's a strategy pattern. That's all. Strategy pattern is just fancy talk for using an interface. You dummy. You can fill strategy pattern. What is it, and what can you do with it? Well, Prime seems to like it, so I think we should explore an example together. I'm going to uh, hop over to my editor. And we're going to explore an example together that first off doesn't use the strategy pattern. And then we're going to look at how we can refactor that example to um, improve its flexibility, should we say. So I like to start off with the concrete implementation just to give us a feel. Um, I'm going to go with the uh, with like a restaurant or food truck example, mainly because it's dinner time and I'm pretty hungry. So I'm going to try and get this out together and then I'm going to have some actual food. So. I think we'll just stick with food trucks, but more exciting than um, restaurant uh, equals new food truck. Um, and then when you go to a restaurant, you're going to want to show me the menu because I'm hungry. So let's make ourselves a, a model directory. And inside that, we're going to create ourselves a new model or food truck. This food truck needs to have public public function of show menu. Uh, it's going to return a string. We keep it nice and simple because I don't want to be here all day. Um, and then what we have on the menu, I'm I fancy pizza or pasta or fries i guess we're going american italian <laughs> restaurant right now so if we go back to our implementation and we import our class we're going to echo out the menu but when you go to a restaurant um you often will go at a certain time of day and that menu that the restaurant might offer different menus for different times of day so let's say um we've got a uh, breakfast um, menu. Uh, yeah, so let's say we've got a breakfast menu. Um, so we go back to our fire truck. We need to take a new constructor argument of, um, what do you want to call it? We call it public read only. We'll go for that, it's not string, uh, menu type, I guess. That kind of works. Um, and then if we come into our show menu, we can do a switch on the menu type, I guess. You could do a switch or a match or, or whatever kind of um, takes your fancy. So go switch on breakfast. And then we might return a breakfast menu. So I want to go on the, um, the breakfast menu. Um, tofu. Um, what else are we having on there? Um, avo, we we hit keep it hipster. We'll say smashed avo uh, beans toast toast. That can be our um, breakfast menu. Uh, and then what we want a lunch menu. What's on the lunch menu? Um, case for lunch. Um, we say, what else, what, what, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? So what do I, what do I have for lunch? Um, we'll just say sand, sand, which is, and it's, um, pretty sparse restaurant. Um, and dinner um so the, our dinner menu can be um we'll, we'll just we'll just go with this so keep that in there nice and cool we don't have a default um maybe we'll go uh return we'll just, we don't have a default it's a limitation. It's a flaw in our design, but we're going to roll with it. Okay, so 
the, the example's kind of limited, but let's say we did want to introduce a new menu into the mix. We're going to have to exponentially um, extend this switch statement, which can get messy, hard to maintain, um, leaves room for... Uh, room for mistakes right we're basing it off strings blah 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 blah. i mean we could take it as far as we could make an enum for the type of menu that we're passing in there's plenty of ways that we might um, extend this but to keep it simple this is what we got so how can we refactor this using the strategy pattern well as prime said it's basically just a fancy way of saying use an interface but what does that mean in this um this example so let's go back to our implementation say we've got the food truck. So say if we wanted to have um, a, let's say we've got the, the dinner menu, right? Um, then echoing that is going to give us our dinner menu. How can we improve this? So if we think of what's our common, um, what common kind of behaviors have we got here, we, we want to show the menu, right? So let's create ourselves a class and let's call this um we'll just call it a we could call it a menu strategy a little bit far but let's this is our strategy our strategy is the menu right so it's, we're going to create ourselves an interface called menu and that um this is going to need a public um function of let's just keep it simple show menu right and that's going to return a string so uh help if I called it a function. Cool. So now we could look at defining a different menu for every um for every time of day, every menu. Um so let's let's put that to the test. Um a new class and let's just say we've got a dinner uh, menu. And this dinner men menu is going to implement the menu interface so it's kicking off here because we need to implement the show menu class um so if we go to implements method show menu we can go back over to our uh, food truck and we've got our dinner menu we're going to um, copy that out of there and we're going to return that directly in here so we've got We've got the dinner menu, but it's encapsulated into its own class. And we're using the menu interface to kind of define that common behavior. So if we go back over to the, um, the implementation, how would we implement that? So we're going to do that in the same way that we would here. But instead of passing the string, we are just going to pass um, a new dinner menu in directly. And we can... Uh, do, 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 do. do that and the dinner menu doesn't require any um we need to refactor our menu truck so it doesn't require any parameters so we say we've got the food truck and we want to pass in a dinner menu so if we head back over to our food truck this is now expecting a um not expecting a string anymore it's now expecting a menu so we type in that with our menu interface and we probably want to refactor this um menu type to be menu because strictly it is now the menu what does that mean for our show menu function? Well, we can actually look to remove the um, complexity here completely because we can now um, return this menu show menu. So all of this code here is now completely um, obsolete. But you're saying, okay, well, we haven't implemented lunch and dinner. Well, we do that in pretty much exactly the same, well, in exactly the same way as we have with the dinner menu. So create ourselves a um, breakfast menu. And that is now going to return a return our, um, oh, no, no, it's not, not going to do that at all. It's going to implement the, implement the, the menu interface and then it's going to implement the show menu method which is going to return that 
so on and so forth. So now if we go back to our concrete implementation, we've shown our dinner menu. Now we want to show our um, breakfast menu. We can do exactly that. Um, right here. And I guess what, what you might be asking is what's the benefit over the obvious? Um, it, leaves it, it leaves our food truck um, class much more simplified. We're encapsulating, I guess, behaviors or logic um, elsewhere. We're keeping the kind of things separated and we're improving the flexibility because say we introduce a mid-afternoon menu or we switch to a different um, kind of level of menus, I guess, or, you know, this is a limited example, but in other examples where you might say you're sending out a notification, but you want to send out a some services want to send out a notification to um, I don't know, text messages or Google alerts or, or whatever it is, um, you can ha you can just basically implement your common interface with your common behaviors or your expected behaviors um, via an interface rather than kind of trying to maintain some complex logic. So uh, overall, our code in our food truck class is greatly simplified and our uh, implementation of that food truck class is clear and it does what it says on the tin and it's easy to understand, doesn't rely on any strings or anything that's a little bit more unreliable. So let me know what you think of the strategy pattern. It basically is the fancy way of saying use an interface, which really you should be doing in majority of your, um, your programming and your, and your engineering. Let me know if you found this video helpful. Let me know how I may be, could have improved this example. Like the video if you made it this far, subscribe if you're new and uh, catch you in the next one. Peace.